it is a journey um, to come into a dynamic where you're able to engage God and feel his presence, sense his presence, know his presence in different ways. But it is different ways and different people have different experiences. So you can't just have someone else's experience. You've got to find what works for you. That being said, there are things you can do. And obviously the Engaging God program, which is um, the program which uh, we run to help people come from the beginning right through to mature uh, experiences as sons of God, really goes into the practice and the, the exercises to build your spirit, to engage, to um, begin to your spirit to train your spirit to sense and discern hebrews talks about through practice we train our spirit and that means we re repetitively do something to begin for our spirit to be active in my own testimony and journey and you know you can you can hear see that online in my journey to see in the spirit I go back to many, many years ago, probably back to around 2000, where God started to, to speak to me about meditating. Um, I didn't have any concept of meditation, but he spoke to me about meditating and he then taught me how to hear his voice. So before I would encourage everyone before they try and see is to hear. Now, what I mean by hearing is not just hearing an audible voice but sensing God's thoughts within your mind, because in your mind is where everything is received, where natural vision, natural audio, audio sounds are all interpreted by electrical impulses in the mind, in the brain. And that there enables you to see, to hear in a physical way. The spiritual way is just the same. Spiritual information goes to our brain and our mind uncodes or decodes that spiritual information so that either it's something we see, something we feel, something we sense, something we know, something we hear. So I spent probably four or five years trying to hear the voice of God. Um, and I did that through the Bible initially. Um, and I, in the using that, um, I would meditate on a Bible verse, meditate on one word, think about the one word mull that word over in my mind repeat it in my mind and i tried started with a, a verse like you know be still and know that i'm god be 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 still i close my eyes and i would just think of the word be to be be still and know that i'm god be be and then i found thoughts started to come into my mind which weren't mine and the holy spirit was speaking to me and i learned how to do that quite well it took me a, quite a few years until I was confident in that. And then I started to talk to God directly rather than using the Bible. So I would picture Jesus sat opposite a chair in me, obviously in a chair sitting there. And I would just think of him being there and I would ask him a question. And then I'd close my eyes and I would wait for the thoughts to come into my mind, which were his thoughts. And they're very different from my thoughts. Uh, and I could distinctively know the difference. So I learned to hear first. Eventually I learned to see. Um, and now I know because I don't need to see a vision to know where I am, what I'm doing, what I'm engaging in. So come to a place of rest before you try and pursue anything. Practice hearing and then move as God directs you. Now, I do a, a meditation called Meditation for Rest. It's a short meditation, five, ten minutes. But it's just something that will get you to a place where you're calm, where you're not striving, where you're not trying too hard, because the harder you try, the harder it gets. You just need to ra relax. You need to rest. You need to come to that place. Don't try too hard and don't have an agenda that you set. Let the father set the agenda for you. So in other words, don't go saying, well, I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to do this. I want to do this. Just go. As I just want to spend time with you. I just want to come into your presence. I just want to feel your presence. I want you to, to show me your presence, reveal your presence to me. Just ask and share your heart with the father and allow the father to dictate and determine which way that is going to happen. 
And as you just come to that place of rest, you'll find it's much easier to receive. Now, in a sense, you can activate your imagination by using a physical object as a way of opening your mind. And I always use a door. So if you, wherever you live now, you have a front door or a back door, but you have a door that you know what it looks like. You know the color, you know whether it's got glass in, you know whether it's got a letterbox, you know whether it's got a handle, you know what it looks like. And if, you, if you're not sure, go out and have a look and look at it, gaze at it, think about it, and then close your eyes and think about, and you can even do that in front of the door and then think about picturing that door. What does it look like? What color is it? And in your mind, picture the door, sense the door, feel the door. You may see it or have an impression. It may be a, an image that you see, but don't think it, everything has to be visual because the word see actually means at its root meaning to perceive. So the main thing in communication and engaging with God is to receive and perceive, not just to see, but to understand, if you like. So he will give you a perception that might come through seeing something. It might come through hearing. It might come through sensing. And a lot of people are sensors. They feel. They just have this sense of impression. They know. And when you know, you know. Um, so don't dictate which one works for you. Just practice and allow use your senses to determine how you connect so when i picture a door then i would choose to open that door in my mind and i would say jesus is knocking on the door i'm going to open the door and i'm going to engage with him or with the father and see what happens then when it opens you're not trying to imagine what happens something happens you may not tune into it very accurately to begin with in your soul but your spirit will and a lot of people uh think they're not doing things very well or it's not working but their spirit is already engaging now i would suggest that is the indication of what's happening while you're when you begin to do this you begin to sleep going to sleep or resting at that level when you begin to meditate is a really positive thing because your spirit is engaged and sometimes our mind gets in the way. And by going to sleep, our mind gets out of the way and our spirit can fully engage. And eventually what your spirit is engaging with will be communicated to your soul. And you'll begin to understand and experience, even sometimes if you don't know, where did that come from? How did I know that? Because your spirit is communicating with you what you've already engaged in the spirit with, with God. So don't try too hard. Now, you know, I know you asked sort of the question, you know, maybe it's not your time. It's always your time because Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. So it's not a time where God is saying I'm holding back. It is a process and it is a journey that you're on. But God isn't holding it back from you. It's just a matter of training your senses to be able to come to that place of rest and begin to sense and feel that which God wants you to engage with. Occasionally, there can be things blocking us. Sometimes it's our own pressure put on ourselves. We're so desperate. We're trying, you know, and, and I, from your thing, you said I'm desperate. Well, I have a desire, but don't be desperate. God doesn't want you to be desperate. He just wants you to desire his presence and he will bring that about. And I'm not your last hope because Jesus is your last hope. He's the door to the father and his that door is open the veil is torn you can access and you can enter in so i would encourage you just to start to rest if you fall asleep great no problem your spirit will be engaging but eventually you'll begin to connect and as you just learn and to discern you'll begin to find it becomes easier and easier but it took me a number of years to do it you know, I'm perseverant. I just kept going. And I started from a place where, you know, I didn't even know how to do any of those things. But eventually God opened the door. And I would encourage you to listen to my testimony of on, on YouTube of how to have my journey to see in the spirit, because I go into it in a bit more detail of how I practiced and how I learned and then what God did to open the door for me. And then me then stepping through that door by choice. 
Because literally, when you choose to open the door that you're picturing or thinking about or meditating on in your mind, that is the choice. I'm choosing to open the door to engage with God and then see what happens and just see how you begin to feel and sense God loves you unconditionally. You know, you are unconditionally loved. It is not your fault or a problem with you. God is wanting to remove any blockages or hindrances that may be there. It might be in your mindset. You might have come from a background. I don't know whether you come from an orthodox background or other background, which may have more of a, a traditional way of looking at things. And sometimes those mindsets just need to be renewed and removed so that you can truly engage in the full love of God and know that he loves you unconditionally. You don't have to perform or earn that love. He loves you and let him love you. The key to entering into rest is to let him love you. Now, we all have different languages of love. Let him love you the way you need to be loved. And I believe you'll begin to come into a deeper sense of his presence. Just rest and relax and allow him to open those things for you. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.